What is the Great Compromise Short Summary? Their so-called Great Compromise, our Connecticut Compromise in honor of its architects, Connecticut delegates Roger Sherman and Oliver Ellsworth, provided a dual system of congressional representation. In the House of Representatives each state would be assigned a number of seats in proportion to its population. What is the Great Compromise in simple words? The Great Compromise was a solution where both large and small states would be fairly represented by creating two houses of Congress. In the House of Representatives, each state would be assigned seats in proportion to the size of its population. In the Senate, each state would have two delegates regardless of size. What was the Great Compromise and why is it important? The Connecticut Compromise, also known as the Great Compromise of 1787 or Sherman Compromise, was an agreement reached during the Constitutional Convention of 1787 that in part defined the legislative structure and representation each state would have under the United States Constitution. What was the purpose of the Compromise? The Compromise of 1850 was a series of measures proposed by U.S. Senator Henry Clay and passed by the U.S. Congress to settle several issues connected to slavery and avert the threat of dissolution of the Union. The 29th of September 2022.